Hey everybody and welcome to this video. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at some new bolt options that are in Tecla Structures 2023. Um, so without getting into a really fancy model, let's talk about what they are. The first thing that I want to talk about is a new feature for slots in Tecla. So if I go ahead and uh, select this bolt group and I want to turn on the special hole option, which would be for slots and oversized holes and things like that. Um, if I come down here to the slotted option and I go ahead and slot this, let's say we have a two inch slot that's along the X direction of that bolt group, I now have a field right next to that for slot offset where I can actually specify that the bolt is no longer centered in the slot. Uh, in previous versions of Tecla, if we wanted to do something like this, we would actually have to make separate bolt groups because the only option you had was for that slot to be centered on the actual bolt group. So this allows me to go ahead and offset that slot in either direction, either a positive or a negative number. And one neat thing I like about this is if you try to enter a value that does not work, it will not let you enter an invalid value. You can see how there's a red box around that field and nothing is happening when I hit enter. Um, so if I change that back to one inch and I'm just flipping it to a, a positive value now, but you can see how it's allowing me to put that in. So that protects you from creating a slot situation that is outside the realm of possibility that the bolt can actually fit in that group. So there's some pretty interesting situations where we see this requested for um, anywhere that like slip or movement is required where sometimes the slot isn't going to be centered. So that's the first new feature that I wanted to talk about today. The second new feature that I wanted to talk about is when you have a lot of different bolting options or a lot of different uh, special hole options in different plies of material that you're bolting through. So in Tecla, you've always been allowed to have up to five special holes or five plies that you can uh, add, you know, different types of holes to. And nowadays, um, if we come in here and we enable special hole, uh, you'll see yeah, as I showed you just previously, where I can turn on um, whether this is a slotted hole or something like that. Let's go ahead and say, yeah, this is a one inch slot. And I can go ahead and enable that as well in the second ply or the third ply, but it's always using the same setting. Well, now there's a new checkbox here where it says use the same settings for all special holes, and that's currently checked. And the neat thing about this is as I check these options, if that is turned off, I will keep getting new special hole types for each ply that I add. So now that's the second special hole, the third special hole, the fourth special hole. So that allows me to come in here and play with some of these values. So maybe I want to have a slotted hole in the X direction in the first ply, a slotted hole in the Y direction in the second ply, and maybe I want to have an oversized hole by sure, let's just leave that as an inch in the third ply. And, you know, this allows me, like, you, like I'm showing here, I mean, you can go through and keep um, adding to and, and playing with these different values until you get exactly what you want. And, and once again, in the older versions of Tecla, that would have to be multiple types of holes on top of each other to mimic that same type of behavior. Now, this is obviously kind of an over-the-top example, but just imagine the possibilities now using a single bolt group to handle complex bolting situations through multiple plies. The third thing I wanted to talk about is a new option, a new special hole type. Uh, instead of slotted, I also have a tapped option. So this has been requested for many years, the ability to add tapped holes in the model. And so uh, if I go ahead here and I turn on tapped holes and um, I have this option for the core hole size. So essentially this is going to be um, what is the, the main bore before the threads are added. So if this is, you know, a three quarter inch bolt, then I might want to have like an 11 sixteenths core hole size. And, um, and that information will actually translate over to you know, CNC files to drawings to IFC files and all kinds of good stuff. Um, so not only will these tapped holes work for um, fully, you know, bolted situations like this, but it's also compatible with the blind hole settings that we came out with back in Tecla Structures 2021. So with this tapped hole option on, I can still come in here. Let's turn off the bolt for now. Um, but I'll say, let's make this a uh, blind hole only 
two inches deep. And then I could maybe insert, let's go ahead and add like a three quarter inch A325N and force our bolt length with our nuts and washers turned off. There we go. So now I'm going to have a hole that goes partially through the plate and it's going to be threaded for bolts that are going to be, you know, threaded or screwed right into the plate. This is great when you have uh, a situation where there's no access to the back side of a plate for a nut. And like I said, it's just something that's been requested for many years now. Um, so again, this is new in Tecla Structures 2023. Um, as of the time of this recording, the beta version is available for download on the Tecla Downloads page. So go ahead and try that out. Uh, give us some feedback on what you think of this new development.